Hi, this video is on the Heathkit AJ1515 uh, digital tuner. Uh, let me fire it up for you here. And then I'll show you what uh, the functions are. We'll walk through that real quickly. So here's AM. I don't have an AM antenna hooked up, but you can see that a lot of the readouts will change as you uh, switch from function to function. Back to that workout. Now once it's on FM, you're going to see there's a two-channel display FM pilot. Uh, the mute function is on right now, and it's changing it from FM uh, and displaying megahertz. An office set of brake vest pads and two rotors. So the buttons that you have underneath the panel here, this is for mono. You can listen to it in mono. This is mute defeat. And of course, when you when you select the mute defeat, you're going to pick up a lot of static, and you're going to be able to pick up those uh, weaker stations, but you're also going to have to deal with some noise as you try to scan between the stations. This is the blend function. What are you doing now? According to the manual, the blend function uh, blends the high frequencies from both channels in an attempt to eliminate noise. And then lastly, I've got a Dolby operation, and, a, and a, the Dolby card is installed in here as well. So this unit is in excellent condition. It's been in this rack most of its life. I did have to take it out. Like the other Heathkit units and some of my other videos, I did have to remove the transparent tape from behind the meters, which had discolored over the years. I did need to replace some of the lamps that were burned out, uh, and I reseated and cleaned a couple of the boards. Also had to calibrate the uh, center tune meter, I think, uh, but everything else is still functioning and operational, and this thing's in excellent condition. Here's a shot of the internals the last time I took the unit apart to do some of the PM work on it. And as you can see, there's the two meters uh, starting to do some work on cleaning those up. That's what they look like. Uh, actually, both of them look that bad. The transparent tape uh, discolors over the years. And uh, again, you know, a couple of a dozen Q-tips or so and uh, some rubbing alcohol was able to remove all of that tape. So just to wrap things up, here are the original assembly manuals. This one is for the tuner itself. This one is for the Dolby module that was added to it. And I still have uh, the original invoice. And you can see here that the unit itself was $399, $49 for the Dolby unit. They gave me a $50 discount. Not sure why. Probably just wanted to get rid of me. And a total of four fifteen. A lot of money for back then, but it's been in service and still working good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.